You know, I'm not here to talk. I'm here to cuddle. I feel like cuddling is a very intimate thing that I don't do with strangers very often. They told us that they were gonna give us some professional cuddlers to cuddle with, and my body is ready. I love cuddling with people. Like I try it sometimes if I'm inebriated or if I'm feeling like confident, like, oh, hey. I'm surprisingly fine. I, I love cuddling. I love bodies. Bring it on. I can be very physically affectionate with people that I have a platonic relationship with, but I have a hard time cuddling with people that I have no relationship with at all. I think I'm pretty good at it. I've got like pretty firm thighs and buttocks. Uh, got some pretty good shoulder action going. A good cuddler is someone who is full of unconditional love and affection towards any human being. I just think maybe it would be somebody who is emotionally open. Most people, when they think of this, they immediately go to like, the cre like there's a creepy quality to it. And what I observe as somebody providing the service are people hungry to receive touch. So as you can see here, this is an agreement that a typical um, uh, client would look at. But first thing you'll notice is that it's a non-sexual experience, mm -hmm. which is sort of different for people, you know, like on a bed with a person, you think, oh, it has to be sexual, but actually we'll stay totally rated G. I think I'm more used to cuddling by the light of like a TV or like in my bed with my boyfriend. You feel very exposed right now. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I really, I very much do. Would you like to thumb wrestle? Um, is that a type of cuddling? Cause I'm so down. We call it companioning. This is called companioning? Yeah. This position it's is just, called companioning? It's just sitting next to somebody. Oh. Okay, so oh, would you like to be on your side? Sure. I okay. Like to be All right, you get thing. comfy. Okay. Get comfy, and I'm going to come around you. Okay, is it okay if I put my body against yours? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Can I put my hand on your shoulder here? Mm -hmm. Okay, here. Like, everyone has different needs. Mm -hmm. And for some people, they just need, like, you know, someone to talk to and hang out with. I. I feel like physical touch with other men mm -hmm. of my age group is really meaningful to me. Um, and I never touch men of the generation older than me. Like it never goes past a handshake. It makes sense to me because they just simply might not be ready for it. I feel like I always wanted a sister growing mm -hmm. up. And so like I love it when people play with my hair because it feels like like it feels like having a sister. It feels like having a sister. I'm feeling okay. That was very relaxing. It was, yeah. It did take me a while to sink into it, uh, just because I'm not like that comfortable with touching strangers. The entire thing was, I mean the cuddling was a big part of it. It felt like the conversation and the sort of constant communication and caring for one another was more what it was about. I feel so happy, that was so nice. I feel like we went from like strangers to best friends like that. I came in here as like a cocky little shit, thinking that I was so confident, like yeah, these people can't phase me, but when um, you're actually being held by a stranger, it's, uh, it opens you up to a lot of like truth.